told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to invite our boys and girls to come forward for a homily geared toward them, so kids, come on up. Come up front, just sit on the floor right in front of me, please. Don't be shy. Come on. I know you're out there. Come on, come on. All my person town. Have a seat.
And what was it? A toy seat that spins. That, that's fun. Hope it doesn't make you too dizzy though, right? Okay. And so you ask your mom and dad, did they give that to you? Well, that's wonderful. I bet you have loads of fun going around like this for hours on end. That must be very exciting. Maybe I should get one for my rectory though. So, well, I want to tell you a story about a little girl from a few years ago who one day she went to school and she noticed something in the school. She went to a concert school and saw a band playing, made up of kids who went to the school playing different instruments. And have you seen concert at schools before that you've gone to? Okay, yeah, I think all schools just about have them. And this girl noticed one particular instrument that she really, really wanted to try herself. And the instrument is a flute. How many of you have seen a flute before? There you go. Okay. She just loved that instrument. It was so cool how people played that. So she asked her mom and dad, Mom and dad, can I have a flute? And they said, uh, We'll see. We'll see. Get back to me some other time about that. And we'll talk about it. So a couple weeks went by and she went back to her mom and dad and said, Mom and dad, can I get a flute so I can learn to play? And they said, We're still thinking about it. Wait a little while. And then another day, coming back from school, she walked by a store that sold instruments. And she saw in the window a beautiful silvery flute. And she said, oh, that's mine. I want to get that thing. So she went back to her mom and dad and said, Mom, I really want a flute. Can I get one? I saw one in the store. It's only a hundred bucks. And mom and dad raised their eyebrows when they heard the price tag, first of all. But then he said, how do you know you're going to stick with it and keep playing it once we get it for you? You say, oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I will play it, I promise, I really want to play in the school band. So after going back and forth, mom and dad talked it over, and they decided to go to that store, and they got her that food. And then she joined the band. And she became a pretty good player. As a matter of fact, she kept playing that flute all through her school days until she graduated with a music scholarship to a college. And she kept playing the flute in college too. And then later on, she loved music so much, she not only became a music teacher, but she joined a major orchestra that went around the country playing great music for people as a flute player. So just think, if she gave up asking for that flute after that first time, all those other wonderful things that happened later in her life may have never happened. While she hung in there and kept asking, right? And that's important. And that's the main lesson from our gospel story. There is a woman who is a widow. How many of you know what a widow is? Anybody know what a widow is? What's a widow? And don't say a black spider. <laughs> Oh, is that what you were going to say? Okay. Okay, no, this is a different story. Okay. What's a widow? Widow. Yes, you don't have to repeat it after me. I want to know what it is. What's a widow? Anybody know what a widow is? What's a widow? Had a husband, but it died? Okay, and he died, you mean. Okay, good. So, yes, it's a widow who lost her husband who died. Okay? So she must have been very sad, and apparently somebody was really bothering her, okay? So that she went to the area judge to ask for help, so that that guy would bother, bother her anymore. And guess what? The judge wouldn't help her right away. And she kept asking, and she kept asking, and asking, and he said, Oh, this person keeps bothering me. Okay, I'll give you what you need. And she got the help she needed, and the person didn't bother anymore, and she was so happy that the judge finally answered her prayers. So that's an example of being persistent too, just like the little girl with the flute, right? And that's what you and all of us need to do in our faith, in being Jesus' disciples. What's one of the big things that Jesus asked us to keep doing to draw closer to him, to be a faithful Christian? What's one thing? Name it. You're doing it right now, I'll give you a hint. Go to church. <laughs> Go to church, right? Again and again and again. 
What's another thing that you do at home, maybe before you go to bed or before you have a meal? You can what? Read what? What kind of book? Where do you learn about God and Jesus? The Bible, thank you very much. So reading the Bible a lot is a good thing. What if I do this? What does that usually indicate? Praise, that's exactly it. How many of you pray at home? That's so important. God loves to hear your voices. So we need to keep praying, asking for God's help. Now God may not always give us what we want, and the way we want it, when we want it, because God maybe knows what's better for us than we know for ourselves, but it's important to keep asking Him for that help, isn't it? And somehow, some way, God will give us what we need to help us to know Jesus, especially someday when we die, where do we hope to go? Heaven. And then we can live happily ever after. Amen? All right, very good. I'm going to ask you to stand up quietly, and I have a little something to give you to take back with you. On one side is a wonderful coloring page about a girl who is praying, okay? And then on the other side is a wonderful decoder puzzle to try to figure out special words that have to do with what the gospel was about today. Who wants to help me pass these out? You want to? Okay, Brian? Me too. You too, okay. There you go. I'm glad we have enthusiastic people. You want to pass them out too? Wonderful. This sit and spin girl. So there we go. <laughs> All right, so once you get one, then quietly walk back to your families and I want to thank you so much for your attention. For coming up. All your good answers. <laughs> Would you like one? Here.